All right, guys, here I am with old Ivan and his best friend, Sophie. It's always therapeutic when you're not feeling well to have someone you love beside you. So I hope that's helping boost his spirits a little bit, having his best friend with him. But firstly, I just want to say thank you to everybody who has said so many prayers for our sweet boy. Um, he really hasn't been feeling well the past few days. I don't know if he's going to walk right now, but if he walks, you can just see how stiff he is in his legs. Just watch. He's about to start moving. And you can see that it's not easy for him at all. Poor guy. Yeah, that tetanus is no joke. It really isn't. As I was saying, though, um, we really do appreciate the prayers more than you guys know. I've seen so many miracles, like divine things happen in my life in the name of Jesus. So there is power in prayer, no question. As far as he goes, though, um, he's been eating and drinking a decent amount. That's the really, really important thing because tetanus can be, yeah, look at how stiff he is when he walks. You can see his legs just tremble. That's sad. You can tell he's really, really lethargic. But what I was saying, though, is that the effects of tetanus can linger for a while. But the fatal part of it, the part that can kill you, usually only lasts about two weeks. That's what I was told. So if Ivan can make it past two weeks, even if it's just hanging, hanging on by a thread, then we'll feel a lot better about his chances of taking down the tetanus. Papa is just counting the days, hoping that we can get to two weeks and he's still hanging on because that'll make it a lot more likely that he'll end up beating it entirely. Yeah, look at him. You can just see that he's so stiff. Really, really weak. That poor boy. I mean, come here, buddy. I'm so sorry, dude. It's gonna be okay. You're at seven or eight days right now. Papa's been counting the days. <laughs> You're about halfway there. You hang on for another week. Keep walking around little by little because it'll be good for you. Keep eating and drinking. We'll take care of you the best that we can. You can't give them too many antibiotics. I think that they're only allowed to do it maybe because they're so strong. I'm not sure the reason why, but I think they can only give them antibiotics once every several days. So the vets have done mostly all that they can do. So now it's just in the hands of God. And if there's anything else that we can do to help them, encourage them to eat and drink a little more then we can do that too. Ivan. I don't know what he's doing. He's kind of worrying me with that. It's going to be okay, buddy. You be strong, Ivan. You're going to pull through. And you're going to be you know, maybe that's the one thing that Ivan actually ha actually doesn't have on his resume yet, is being a survivor. Most of the animals here have survived something. That's kind of their go-to. Ivan's just known for being super duper sweet, but he hasn't had to survive anything tough. Hasn't really had to overcome any adversity. Up until this point, he's had a pretty easy life. I know that when he was born, he was born to... Um, a super old mother who wasn't able to give him milk. Um, the little that Ivan was getting wasn't helping him mature and develop the way that a baby donkey should be. And what little he was drinking from his mom was sort of sucking her dry and taking a toll on her health as well. So we had to make the tough choice to separate them for the well-being of both. And so that was kind of a bit of adversity to overcome. But... It was mostly us that handled that. We just did what we thought would be best for them. They're both do, they both uh, flourished 
after we made the difficult separation. My point though is that that was something that kind of we intervened, something that we did. But this right here is something that Ivan is having to tough through all by himself because there isn't a whole lot that we can do except for just give him moral support. So Ivan will join some of the other Morrow Hill legends on the Mount Rushmore of Morrow Hill when he pulls through this. Petunia overcoming her hypoglycemia, her blindness. Um, man, Ivy survived countless things. Brady being stuck in between the hay for several days. Luis birthing 17 babies, helping them all stay alive. Carl surviving what he went through before he came here. The list goes on and on, you guys, of different animals that have survived. Cornholio surviving Dixie Chunk <laughs> last year. What else? There's more than I can even keep track of. Elfie over there surviving two broken legs healing in about a week guys I'm not even kidding Elfie heals faster than Deadpool does this goat over here Elfie had two broken legs from injuries he sustained due to um, just something that happened at Pawpaw's house, so that's why he has a new home. Also, because Bree wanted a pet, who's by the way had a birthday today. So, I wish Brianna a happy birthday. In any case, in about one week, seven or eight days, Elfie's two broken legs completely healed. I have no idea how. The other day, I was walking by and he literally was hopping like a bunny or like a kangaroo trying to come over here to me and let me pet and love on him. Watch him walk around now. Hey, Elfie. Walk around, bud. Show the people how good your legs are doing now. Okay, he's not very energetic right now. He's not jumping around like he was yesterday. But my point is that you would never guess that a very short time ago he had two broken legs and could barely walk i'm gonna nickname him deadpool deadpool heals as quickly as you can there we go that was a better one and elfie heals like deadpool good boy elfie you're a good boy anyways my point is is that the animals around here are amazing you see so many marvelous feats so many amazing stories of perseverance. Oh, he went over there. I couldn't find him. You see so many amazing stories of perseverance. Overcoming the odds. Amazing surviving stories. And Ivan has always been legendary because of how sweet he is and how friendly he is. But he's never been on the list of survivors yet look at pawpaw loving on ivan he loves that boy you don't see pawpaw get emotional too often but when he found out ivan was sick the way he was it really hurt him <laughs> pawpaw on his donkey but no once ivan beats this he's gonna be on the mount rushmore of Morrow Hill legends, Morrow Hill survivors. He will etch his name in history as a legendary donkey who is super cool and friendly and beat tetanus. A lot of, a lot of things don't go 
beat tetanus. Tetanus is a big deal. But Ivan's halfway there right now. So we appreciate the prayers. There can never be too many. And we're going to continue keeping y'all updated. Right, Elfie? Yeah, Elfie's like, that's right. Alrighty guys, well, with that said, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Be sure to let me know in the comments what kind of stuff you want to see. Hope you have a great day, and as I always say, your boy Ellie out.